Hello, this is Tony Hawk from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. This video replaces a previous video I made which had a calculation error in it. I had previously stated that this was the coldest October through April on record in the United States. That's not correct. The correct statement would be that afternoon temperatures in the U.S. were coldest in over a century. The 12 months from October 1st through the end of September is described as the water year. Nearly three quarters of the United States has been below normal temperatures since the start of the water year, much of it far below normal. The average daily maximum temperature in the United States from October through April was the coldest in over a century and probably since 1912. Nighttime temperatures from October through April were also very cold for the second year in a row, well below normal. It was probably also the wettest October through April on record in the United States. This is a map of precipitation. You can see that the entire country was pretty wet. I spent much of the winter in Arizona and it was extremely wet down there. Now compare that to the forecast which Noah made. NOAA forecast a warm winter for the United States and drought in the West. They got everything exactly backwards. They said a mild winter could be in store for much of the United States this winter according to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. In the U.S. winter outlook for December through February, above average temperatures are most likely across the northern and western U.S., Alaska, and Hawaii. Now let's compare that to what actually happened. Montana just endured one of the nation's most exceptional cold spells on record. March 11, 2019. All-time record low temperature in Illinois now official. Minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit, March 7th, 2019. State of emergency in Flagstaff after snowiest day on record. Look at all that snow on the cactus. Because of all the rain in the Sonoran Desert this winter, there was an incredible wildflower bloom. Here are some of the pictures I took down there. I took this one on New Year's Day. It doesn't look too much like heat and drought to me. Squaw Valley, California is having their second snowiest winter on record. and They may end up passing their snowiest year set two years ago. They'll be skiing well into July there. Now compare that to 1960 when they held the Winter Olympics there and barely had enough snow to make the Olympics happen in February. So let's look at some of the issues this exposes for climate alarmists. They claim to be able to forecast the climate 100 years from now, but they can't even get the next season correct. But for me, this is the really big problem for alarmists. They've been claiming that all the rainfall we've been having in the United States recently has been due to warm temperatures. But this year's record rainfall was also associated with record cold. That pretty much destroys their entire story. NOAA will, of course, tremendously adjust this data, and their graph will look very different from mine. It'll be interesting to see how much they tamper with it. Anyway, try to stay dry and warm. We're having the coldest end of April, early May on record here in Boulder, Colorado. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.